This is giving me a lot of grief. Let's just just see that just for me to see if it's going to probably work out okay. I know what I'm going to put here, ish. So that's how it starts. Okay, so this is my latest painting, and this is King Con. And, you know, I've used my brick wall with the graffiti effect, and then there's a fairly recent sign been screwed to the wall, and it looks like someone's come along and made a few alterations to that, and then um, a bit of a, a comment. Um, and then the main character here, well, I don't know, I suppose he's been wandering around and uh, finding interesting items along the way and detritus and stuff that uh, tends to be scattered around all too frequently these days. And amongst the uh, more recent detritus, he's found this interesting item here. So I don't know whether he's trying to work out what he should do with it. <laughs> um, he doesn't look no, none too pleased. Um, but maybe that's how gorillas look all the time anyway. So may maybe he might be a happy gorilla after all. So I'm starting a new painting. I've been working on various canvases. See which one it fits best. And there's um there's three or four ideas I've got for a painting of this type. So I've got to get on with one of them, but this um very early stages, so I'm just gonna roughly draw out where everything roughly, only roughly meant to be. That's just to see that just for me to see if it's going to probably work out okay. I know what I'm going to put here, ish. So that's how it starts. So I've got to a stage with this painting where this fellow here, he's working really well. I think I like his, the way he's positioned nicely in the corner. Gives me the opportunity now to use this space to make some comments. Now, I'm going to have this sign. The question is, what kind of wall? Originally, I thought we'll, we'll dispense with the bricks or just have some bricks, but I think a brick wall behind this fellow is going to work really well. Um, so the sign then, I, I try to visualize where it's going to be. How big is this sign? Where should it be? Is it going to be attached to the wall on a stand? I like the idea of it being attached to the wall, but first, when things are in line, it bothers me a little bit. So I just thought in the top corner, but it, it looked a bit clumsy, it was too high, and it was dominating him. I want him to dominate, he's, he's the boss here. looks fine but something was telling me that you want it either above the head or below the head so then I tried to lower it down to here again making this making it disappear somehow behind the just in that corner I'm still not sure about that in fact if I put another there's a sign yellow so if I sort of drew up two lot two lots in I stand back and I see which one might work the best. 
Right, I haven't looked at it for very long and I know which one I prefer. I prefer the one where it's back here. This, as I thought, is too, too busy. The exact height of this, I can bring it down a little bit. I've already brought it down a little bit. I can bring it down a little bit so that it, it's underneath the main character, making him the dominant part of the picture. I can increase the size a little bit if I want. I've got room to come down here. I've got room to go this way a little bit if I need to. I like that distance there. Too, too little distance is a problem. Either it's got to overlap all the way over the edge of the canvas or it's got to end and give me at least that sort of amount of space. So this side has a stripe going around it. Quite a thick stripe with cur curves on the edges. And the other piece is very rough. But then what I'm going to do So I think I've pretty much decided roughly where the sign, roughly where the sign's going. And what that sort of dictated was this line, the angle of that perspective line there seemed right to me. It seemed right. So I drew a straight line across the top. Now if that's a line of mortar, <laughs> it's important to me that it, it doesn't go there right on the top of his head. I want a bit of brick showing, so that next line of mortar is conveniently nicely above his head, um, rather than just there, complicating the issue, making it probably look clumsy. This line of mortar then will be here. Now that's nice as well, it's not there, otherwise it'd make it look clumsy. Now when I follow that down, <laughs> Who knows what I might end up with, it's just too bad. If, if something comes right in there, that bothers me a little bit. But hopefully it won't, and if it does, it won't look too bad. And I might disguise it with some muck or some graffiti or whatever. Now. There's my mortar lines drawn in. And that's going reasonably well, I think. Well, it's lacking something a little bit somewhere. But while I've been doing this, I've been having some thoughts. Everything's very neat. I think, what happens if we do this? Well, I've not, not experimented with this yet, so this is sort of live. Let's see what happens if we do this. I just think things ought to be a bit, a little less neat. What happens if it's a bit bent? Sort of like... Yeah, I think that's working better. I've... Uh, knickers in a bit of a twist so they say it's gotten so complicated fitting this there's something I'm not quite sure about this sign it's a bit clumsy and fitting in all the literature <laughs> I'm adding an extra letter to this this is what happens when you drawing these things out you've got to check the spelling all the while it's so easy to miss letters out or add letters because that's not what you're concentrating on. But it's too really difficult to, what I'm trying to do is try to be really clever here. The sign's slipped. And so there is old graffiti behind the sign, but there's new graffiti that's been sprayed on top of the sign, which because the sign slipped, how would it work? That's gone over the top of that. And it's 
left a space here where the new graffiti. And it's, it's very complicated. The testing, we've got certain issues going on here. We've got the mask situation with this fella. And we've got the testing thing, which I thought it was clever to sort of, <laughs> you know, testing with the arrow pointing at the gorilla there. But I'm thinking if I can just stick to one issue, the mask issue. So I'm going to redesign this. This word is too big, there's too much going on, it's getting too busy. I still like the idea of the sign, but I might change the sign for a sign that says mask zone or something. And then a word like mask can be added to, somebody could have added graffiti to it. At the moment it's, too, it's just getting too complicated. In fact, to put all this in, you'd need more space maybe this side. But that's not what I envisage. I'm going to try and change things a bit, simplify it. So having done quite a bit of work on this, I've got to radically alter it. Let's just see how it goes. The ideas for the signs, as much as I like the idea, and you can write on the signs the information that you need to get into the painting, and then you can have somebody graffitied over the top of it. It just is not working. It looks so clumsy. The brick wall is fine. The gorilla itself is fine. Graffiti type stuff that I apply, apply to the brick wall is bound to work. It has done many, many times before. But the sign idea was so clumsy. I'm, I'm not sure whether I can incorporate it at all. I don't like doing things like that. It's I like texture, so the fur and stuff in an animal and the shine in the eyes and the wetness of the nose and the graininess of the bricks and the mortar and the way that the spray paint is applied to the, the brick wall and the effects of that with the dirt and the mould and green stuff growing on. Anything like that, that texture is what I like to create. These plastic and steel and paper signs and things are just so horrible to, to do and it looks so clumsy in there. Now I'm not sure that this this painting's not not, not working out because also I, the shape I don't there's too much at the bottom it's too square. And it's very rare that I get this far and decide it's not working out. Um, I don't know what to do about the side I've got so many ideas to use it all these signs, there's so many of these stupid signs around at the moment, I can have so much fun with them, but they're just such horrible, dead things to paint. Um, so I don't quite know, and every time, every which way I've tried this, it looks so clumsy and horrible. I've thought about putting the sign behind him, so it's obscured, but you want to be able to read what it says, you know. I don't know. So I think I'm going to have to have a bit of a think about this and get some other canvases out. I think that format's far better though. You don't need those four inches on the bottom. Um, and I just know that a graffiti wall and all this space here would work with my usual, you know, uh, stuff that I put on there. The signs weren't working at all. Um, there must be a way. I mean, surely I can do it. But, you know, I just don't like it if, it if it looks wrong or if it looks clumsy, clumsy. It will not do for me. It's got to be right. Some paintings, like the last one I did, they just walk down the road. And you know it's right and it works. Others are a bit of a struggle, but they come right in the end. This will come right in the end. But this is a hell of a struggle. Um, and it's not necessarily because it's a difficult subject. 